Good mid-afternoon, 3.29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Sunday, September 18th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the state of Michigan here on the East Coast. Right now, XRP is up 4.28%, and I've seen a lot of questions, so I figured I'd answer them. Right now, the main thing for me is I'm looking for a retest. If we're going to have an ascending triangle breakout, which is the extended bear flag, which it hasn't broke out in all, on all uh, charts, but right now on my Binance chart, it's broken a very important level, and that is the extended bear flag, and it's going to be hard to see in the weekly, I acknowledge, so let's get back down to the daily. Maybe I'll have to get down a little bit further. No, there we go. So in the daily time frame, you can see the 38 cent mark was critical. We did break over that for a short time period, which we've been right now, but now I still think we need to have a back test because it's been a very high push up without a back test. I would like to see at least a pull down to 30 cent, uh, 38 cents, I apologize. Even if it breaks up a little more here, I still would like to see a back test of this ascending triangle breakout. We had a small one here, but now let's break down and maybe hit this uptrend even. I wouldn't mind even a hit on the uptrend at 38.46 to establish this uptrend over the ascending triangle. But a lot of times you get a back test on there, but there is no way of knowing for sure because it is a nice push up. There's a lot of stuff going on in the markets and when they happen to do this and now it's in like kind of like a rising channel here in the short term, this is the toughest spot to trade in and I would not advise anybody to do anything of any sort. If you're going to do a leverage trade, I highly uh, encourage you, you put on a stop loss and keep your losses like 25, 30 bucks. There's no problem in trying to put in a short or putting in a long depending on what you think, but make sure you have a plan in place and if it backfires, don't bet a lot of money. You shouldn't be using a lot of money when you leverage trade. 50, 100, 200 bucks maybe. Minimize your losses to 30, 40 bucks. But really, you should be spot trading. The leverage trading will just get you burned nine times out of 10. It's just that simple. Some of us have the gambling impulse and we like to do it. But I'm just telling you. So I'm looking at a retest of like 38 cents maybe, or 38.46 on this uptrend. If we look at the US D perpetual chart with BitGet, you can see we broke out of the top as well. We have not had a back test here either. And that's at about 38.83 on this. So we'll see at least if we come back to 38.83 and see how we look on this perpetual futures chart. And then on the USDT chart related to BitGet, this pull down would have us right around 38.25 area. So I don't know if we're gonna pull down right now, but it sure as hell to me seems like we need to have a retest of this breakout get some support there for y'all gonna have a breakout on the bear flag and then maybe just maybe we can continue on but it's gonna be hard for us to just continue without a retest i'm not saying it's impossible and i'd be damn sure if you're leverage trading one way or the other you understand the parameters here because right now i would just sit back relax smoke a cigar and just let the market play out because that's what you do in times of volatility like this unless you're a gambler and then i would like to visit this comment because sometimes I see comments that can give a certain perception of what I do, but are so untrue that it really is a kick in the nuts. And it's, a, it's a, you know, it's hurtful. Elite knowledge. You claim to be a watcher or you're, you're within the comment. You're making yourself seem like you know the show so deep. So then let's stop talking about sub 20 cent because many of your followers are still waiting for that and will be missing out. That is untrue. The fact is, is we're waiting to make our bulk purchase under 20 cents, but we've already made a purchase at 0.298 and just under 32 cents, which I've shown live on air, which has got me my 3,000 shares back. I started with 7,200, liquidated the whole thing at $1.66, and now at 0.298 and 0.317 approximately, I bought 3,000 shares back live on air. So this uh, comment is factually, or even historically incorrect. The facts are not there. And I'd appreciate you not uh, gaslighting my content. If you're going to criticize me and try to do some constructive criticism or try to say something about me, make sure it's factual because there's nothing that pisses me off more than when somebody gaslights my content. So elite knowledge, get with it or get the fuck out and stop spamming my content with bullshit. If you don't like it, that's too damn bad. This is how I do my show. So right now we're on the 20 day. And we're looking to break down this 20-day support, but we did bounce back above it very quickly. And if we could get a little more of a volume pull here, we could keep breaking up. We are showing some signs of a topping reversal here, but let's see before we do anything rash. And let's see if we can get a back test here on this broken bear flag, which it's not technically a breakout yet until we can get this back test. 
So we're going to see if it back us or breaks back within. Now with Bitcoin, on the other hand, it's down on the day. It's trying to make a little bit of a rally here in the last couple minutes. But as of right now, Bitcoin looks like it's still got a little bit of a ways to go. I would like to see Bitcoin come back down to like, that almost got there. Honestly, Bitcoin almost got there. On the USDT chart, it almost hit the uh, 19,515 again. And then on the Bitcoin USD chart, 19,536 almost perfectly hit. But a breakdown here, it almost looks like it needs to break down farther than here. Like we're not ready to come back up yet. That's why it makes me a little nervous that XRP can just run up unopposed. It seems like XRP is going to have to have a little bit of a correction here. So we'll see what happens. XRP Future Millionaire, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to trade XRP without spot fees like you've seen me do already twice, here's the easiest way to do it. Go to my recent videos, click down, and then just go down to more. Go down to BitGet and trade XRP with me. I have my partnered link. You trade XRP with no VPN. You don't need KYC. And there's no spot fees when you buy XRP. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but at least on my last few purchases, when I've done it live, there's been no spot fees. And if you're on Uphold like I am, you need an alternative because you can just send it from the XRP ledger back to Uphold. Use BitGet. Even if you're on another exchange that charges fees, buy it on BitGet, send it over to your native exchange. And join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month to get the exclusive telegram where we're on top of this. What we're talking about it, a lot of people in the community are also talking. So it's more than just me and my charts. There's a lot of people talking about this eventual bear flag, what we're going to do in it. So that's a great, great thing to get. You also get the exclusive content where I've had Algo, IOTA, and HBAR updates the last three days. And that's the members only exclusives. And then if you want to join me over on TikTok, it's just another place to get content from me. Just click on the TikTok link. And you can see my video from yesterday, 62,600 views. Got one out today with 2,200, but it's been absolutely exploding. Two days ago, I had 1,000 followers on TikTok. Today, I have 3,331. Stay blessed, everybody.